Welcome back to our World Golf Championships FedEx St. Jude Invitational. We're picking up the action at the 11th. Let's get into it. Going with the seven. This one looks like it's going right. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. went down let's see if you can make this and keep the par on the card short game has been especially sharp today Luke very impressive that's half a chance of being hold this one yep nice to make a mid-range par putt Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Uh, it's a bit quick from the top. This one's hooking hard. Sadly, this one will make a splash. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. Needs this one to kick right. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. 11 feet to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. This next part is for Bogey. And down she goes. Now six strokes back after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. boy good shot <laughs> looks to have chosen the seven iron Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. It was on a good line. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Justin Thomas is our current leader. All right.
tonight, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Opting for the five wood. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. A bit short with that effort. That's great, it just missed the hole. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Justin Thomas has built a three-stroke lead over the field. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That looked like a big hook to me. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Oh, so close. Big putt for par coming up. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently eight under overall. You've arrived at a par five. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. The final par five at TPC Southwind is a good one. Up the hill, Rich, and a chance to get there in two. Second shot back up the hill at 16. Bunkers on the front left and back right of this green. Could pose some problems. However, this hole generally plays the easiest on the golf course. Go ahead, take it on the flagstick with your seconds. Now man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, guys, it is only the first cut, but it did kind of make its way into the deeper parts of this rough here. Let's see what happens. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it.
Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. Good putt, that. He's in a share of third place. We've arrived at a par four hole. Beauty, didn't you? Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Looks like about 23 feet to the cup. It's always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? And down it goes. He's currently sitting in fourth position. Not much happening, moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. The chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. Yeah, that'll work, that's fine. Well, that's beautifully judged. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. This one's for birdie. Ooh, nice line. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.
Well, Rich, uh, that was a tale of two nines, wasn't it? A bit of the yin and a bit of the yang. Yeah, bro. I mean, he just went out there and just didn't really have it going uh, on the back as he did the front because, you know, that's just the way that life goes. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. Sports delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. We're at the World Golf Championships FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? In the top five, starting the final round. So it's been a good week, but it will only be a successful week if they get the win come day's end. Lots of golf we played and some good opportunities ahead. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's a handy shot. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Yeah, you got to love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Getting off to a great start at this event. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Good looking shot this. Second shot on the second. Flushed it. Hasta la bye bye. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. <laughs> ah, that's a tad unlucky. They could have got out. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Sitting up to play the shot here from the green side rough. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Wow, that almost went in the hole. 
Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. Well hold. Currently at seven under for the tournament. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. I'd be booking in for some lessons if I was swinging it like that. This lie is not great. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. That's it. It's okay. Playing from around 110 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the pitching wedge here. Woo, back there, horsey. Time now for the fourth shot. Great touch. Really nicely played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Yep, well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Ooh, right by the hole. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Now, eight shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Going with a three wood here. Nicely done. Chance to move to eight under here. This one's looking good. Well done. Take the ball. And with that, we'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. Now a three-shot lead. Time to tee off at the sixth.
was a little untidy, wasn't it? Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. And here we are with the third shot. one just missed the hole that dog will hunt and this putt to move into a tie for third place and there it is and this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Sitting at eight under. Currently tied for third. <laughs> Looks to be going with the six iron. That one's headed left. Yeah, quality shot that there's a long way but i tell you what i've seen it happen before so there's a chance go in Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Three feet to go here to the hole. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And JT is currently our leader. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the five iron here. Oh, tidy looking shot that. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. This one's looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. <laughs> that was wonderfully done. Well, this player is certainly uh, finding this spot a couple of times this week. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today.
choosing the nine iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Looking better. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one shot lead. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot here at the 10th. Opting for the three wood. Oh, that should find the bunker. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt seven feet to the cup their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch that's well hold now current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead teeing off here at the 11th That sounded absolutely flushed. That ball looked a little thirsty. Getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. That is a pure looking draw. As Tiger would say, wait. That's gonna fall in the water, sadly. Time for the fifth shot. Pretty good win, back into the player's face. Nice little draw, nothing sweeter. I'd say this needs to hit a house, but there are no houses in sight. Time to play from the bunker. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done.
And this one's for quadruple bogey. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that puddle drop. Well done. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. We have a par four on this one. They are trailing it, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. This one might roll into the rough. Down the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Well, what's he doing hitting it there in the first place, Luke? I don't understand. He made bogey yesterday, and he's looking the same score today. Splash. And here we are with their four. And that one's headed to the drink. Currently minus five. Currently in fourth position. That's some good golf right there. This is a triple bogey attempt here. Yep, he'll take that. And Justin Thomas currently leads the field. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That reminded me of the big easy, silky smooth. We need this one to bounce right. That's well played. Pin high. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. This one's dialed in. Ooh. And this putt is to move into the top five. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Justin Thomas with a very healthy lead at the moment. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Going with the five wood. This would be a great up and down. Ooh! That one was absolutely lasered. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Well done. Justin Thomas is our current leader. This hole here is a par four.
Yep, tip yourself a pat on the back. Second shot here on the 15th. Looks to be going with the five iron. Better bring their binoculars. Gonna have a hard time seeing the hole from there. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. Ouch, that hurts. This part of about six feet coming up. Two under with the final few holes to go. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. Well struck. The final par five at TPC Southwind is a good one. Up the hill, Rich, and a chance to get there in two. Second shot back up the hill at 16. Bunkers on the front left and back right of this green could pose some problems. However, this hole generally plays the easiest on the golf course. Go ahead, take it on the flagstick with your seconds. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? But in for birdie. Putt is underway. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to three under. And JT is currently our leader. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they lucked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. Getting ready to play their third. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Playing their fourth shot. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Left yourself an opportunity. And this next putt, it's for bogey.
big chance here. Top effort, that. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. And well hold. Let's move on. He finds himself currently in eighth. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Sitting at one under in eighth position. Going with the six iron here. This one is chewing fiber. Wow, what a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. This part is for a final score of 76. And that'll bring his tournament to a close. Top 10, Rich, not to be sneezed at. No, top 10s are always good. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.